Hello and welcome to our latest Facebook Live. My name is Joe Deppa. I'm the Corporate Communications Manager here in Comscope. We are uh, coming to you live from the global headquarters in Hickory, North Carolina. As you know, we like to do these Facebook Lives every couple of weeks, so we're going to try to at least do it every Thursday. We haven't had one in a while, but the, today should be a really special uh, event. Today we're going to be talking about our Partner Pro Network. Uh, today I am joined by Kunta Lin. I, I believe I, I'm pronouncing it right. If I mispronounce it, good enough, Joe. <laughs> so he will be here talking about our Partner Pro network, our installers, our distributors, uh, and telling you a little bit about the process and um, the ins and outs. A little go a little deeper into the network. So Kun, do me a little favor. Why don't you tell me a little bit about um, your background in the industry and your background working with Comscope? Sure, no problem, Joe. So, um, my name is Kunta Linde, so pronunciation was pretty close, Joe, so good enough. Um, I've been in the industry for about 23 years, and for those of you that know Comscope, uh, Comscope obviously grows autonomously, but also through acquisition, and uh, that's how I ended up with Comscope as well. Um, I started off with Lucent Technology back in 96. I had a couple of functions with regards to marketing, product management, ended up in sales uh, way back as well. So that's where the biggest part of my, uh, my uh, uh, legacy lies in, uh, in sales management. Um, most recently, my previous job, I was running the enterprise business for mm -hmm. Comscope in Europe. And um, uh, since the beginning of this year, I moved over here to Hickory, North Carolina, beautiful place, uh, to run our global partner organization as well as our enablement organization. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we put these two organizations together is that we would like to see our partner community as our own people, right? And we'd mm -hmm. like to treat them the same. I think a lot of the content, a lot of the enablement content that we're putting together is basically uh, very valuable for our own sellers, obviously, but also for external sellers, mm -hmm. so basically our partner community out there. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's a perfect segue into the conversation. You know, we were talking about the network. Can you give us a little bit of uh, background or can give a brief explanation of what is the Partner Pro Network? Yeah, so the Partner Pro Rec Network is actually our partner program. And uh, as I mentioned, we've grown. We've grown a lot over the last number of years. And um, uh, we have a very, very big partner DNA within our company, mm -hmm. right? So, but as we grow, we need to make sure that we formalize things a little bit as well, right? And that's what Partner Pro is all about, right? So it's about scaling, it's about creating an ecosystem of partners that work with us uh, in basically uh, conquering, capturing the market, making sure that we provide value to our joint customers out there. And, uh, and obviously we are looking for partners to make sure that we, uh, we align ourselves properly, we have similar values, quality, Integrity, uh, two very important values that we uh, that we covered within Comscope, and uh, and that's actually the way we uh, we created the Partner Pro Network uh, a couple of years ago. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it, you know, one of the things that people, let's say, visit the um, the website, you see uh, the Partner Pro Network, and it's broken down by partners, it's mm -hmm. broken down by installers, and it's broken down by distributors as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what are the differences between all of them? Yeah, so basically, if you look at most partner programs in our industry, they're what I call quite one-dimensional, which is basically uh, uh, programs that are focused mostly on the installer community, mm -hmm. which is very, very important. But we try to look at it from an end-user perspective and work our way back. Mm -hmm. So basically, when we're looking at the end-users of our products, we basically look at them and say, hey, what kind of partner types do these customers work with? Mm -hmm. And those are the, comp uh, the companies, the, the partner types that we are engaged with as well. So we've got six distinct partner types that we're dealing okay. with. So Installers, one that I mentioned, right? So we've got about 6,000 installation partners across the globe, so uh, quite a bit. Uh, but if you uh, recognize the fact that we operate in about 100 countries, it's not that many. So we basically, as I mentioned before, want to make sure that we are 100% aligned from a, from a value perspective. So we don't just won't sign everybody up. I mean, we need to make sure we, are, we, are, we have a similar, similar DNA, basically, mm -hmm. right? So when it comes to our uh, values. So installation part, the second one is uh, integration partners. So these are the larger installation partners basically taking our solution, coupling it with other leading solu solutions in the marketplace and basically solving complex customer infrastructure okay. uh, um, uh, issues, right? So that's the second partner type we're looking at. The third one is distributors. Very important for us as well. I mean, they, they deal with our uh, stock challenges, uh, basically distribu distributing our products across the globe. And uh, we operate in about a little bit over 100 countries. We've got about 500 distributors in these, in these countries. And uh, they serve, serve a very important uh, need for us as well to make sure that they, that they like I said, distribute stock, but also kind of relay the message back and the, the enablement content to our partners out there in the marketplace, mm -hmm. right? So okay. that's a very important, uh, important function as well. Um, consultants, very important. I think right. uh, most, well, uh, most uh, vertical markets in the marketplace, uh, customers use consultants as well. 
we try to uh, 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 work with them very closely as well as part of the Partner Pro Network as well, making sure they main maintain in their integrity uh, and obviously their independency as well. But that's a very important group that we're working with as well. Alliances is another one as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the markets are changing, right? right. So, I mean, POE and another things. I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening right now in the marketplace that we uh, that we need to be cognizant of. And um, uh, from a, from an alliance perspective, we work with some of the leading leading uh, vendors uh, in the marketplace. The MTDC Alliance is an example for that. The Which is what we just launched within about a year ago. That's right. right. The multi-tenant data center mm -hmm. alliance. So, um, uh, so being very very successful with that as well. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the last one is uh, the more specialized uh, installers. And these are installers that are focused on specific customer requirements. Mm -hmm. And the in-building wireless uh, uh, installer, but in-building wireless partner is an example of those. So, uh, so those are the six distinct uh, partner types that we have within Partner Pro and that we try to provide value for, obviously. Right? So okay. Um, you know, and that's funny because you're talking about um, you know, all the partners and installers around the globe. I mean, and, I, and that's that's um, a benefit to Comstock to having all these partners. But what is the benefit uh, of choosing a member in the Partner Pro Network? If you're a customer and you're looking to do a deployment, let's say, of a multi-tenant data center or, you know, let's say a system act solution thing in building wireless, what is that benefit to the customer to come to a partner, one of our, one of our members of the, yeah. of the network? Yeah. So basically, I mean, we, we try to, uh, to um, uh, engineer and we try to uh, manufacture products that are best in class, right? But that, that's worth nothing if we don't have a partner that basically works with these products and, uh, and mm -hmm. installs them and basically engineers them, designs them in the best in class way, right? So, mm -hmm. so I think uh, from a customer perspective, there's a clear benefit. If, we are work, if they're working with one of our accredited partners mm -hmm. that, uh, that we can kind of uh, guarantee the warranty uh, on mm -hmm. our products basically, right? So uh, we can scale properly across the world. We've got many customers that have many different locations across the globe. Mm -hmm. um, being part of a part of Pro Network provides us with an ecosystem that makes us very comfortable uh, that we can do a business in Mexico, we can bus mm -hmm. do business in Detroit, in Amsterdam, doesn't really matter, right? Mm -hmm. So we can guarantee the same quality, uh, uh, consistent quality for these customers all across the globe. So mm -hmm. I think that's a very key benefit. And um, I think that's what our customers value, our end user customers right. value. And that also transfers over, let's say, with the, with the warranties as well. The, right. You know, we have, we have a, a, a warranty with the System Act solution, you know, a 20 year, 20, 20 year warranty, I believe, and that carries over with even with the partners or the uh, installers putting it in as well. So that's, that's all right. covered with that. So um, as we continue going on, you know, please have your questions ready. You know, I'll be reading them. Um, uh, we actually have one right now, if we can get to this. And I do have a couple more questions I will ask Kuhn, but I'm going to get to some of your questions as well. And we have one from Amit. I believe, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Is What is the basic part of knowing interestly for the understanding in Comscope? Um, what is the basic part of of knowing, in, inter, I'm sorry, I, I actually don't know what kind of, I don't know your, the, the, the um, purpose of that question. If you, can, if you can explain a little bit more, that would be great. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, you know, one of the things that we have seen on social media is people have come to uh, our Facebook page as well as through Twitter. And one of the things that they have asked us is, how does one become a member of the network? Can you explain that a yeah, little bit more? Definitely. So basically, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we're operating in over 100 countries. We've got about 6,000 partners. We've got about 500 distributors. So we do kind of manage the partner uh, community quite uh, quite tightly. And um, uh, there is a lot of requests for it, Joe. I think you're absolutely correct. There's a couple of ways to um, uh, to sign up as a partner or basically to, uh, to get signed up as a partner. Uh, one way is to basically visit our website, right, www.comscope.com slash partner pro. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one way it will very clearly articulate what you need to do in order to get in contact with us to, uh, to have the discussion as to mm -hmm. uh, can, we become, can you become a partner, uh, what are going to be the, the, the mutual benefits for us to do so. Uh, but also, I mean, we have about 1,500, over 1,500 sales professionals uh, in, these, mm -hmm. in these countries that I just mentioned. Uh, another way to do it, uh, and very much a hands-on way to do it, is basically pick up the phone to your local Comscope uh, uh, representative or local com Comscope offices and uh, have the discussion with them, and then uh, obviously we can take it to the next level and see if mm -hmm. there's any mutual benefit in, uh, in being a partner and basically uh, going into a partner mm -hmm. type. Uh, type. And you were talking about um, being experienced and being certified. I think one of the things that we definitely want to highlight here is the Comscope Infrastructure Academy. Right. And a lot of the partners have to go through the Infrastructure Academy to be certified. Can you give me a little bit uh, in background information on the Infrastructure Academy and what partners have to do uh, to pass some of that certification? And tell me about some of the, maybe some of the courses that are available there as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, so basically, um, so what, uh, what we've tried to create with the, uh, with the Infrastructure Academy is a very broad platform of uh, trainings that are available for the partner community to, to grab hold of, right? Mm -hmm. So whether it be installation training, design training, whether it be sales and marketing trainings, there's a, there's, a, there's a very broad spectrum of trainings that is available for the partner community today. Mm -hmm. And obviously the reason why we're doing this, that we want to maintain quality, that we want to make sure that we elevate ourselves and the partners up to a higher level, right? I mean, uh, quality mm -hmm. is very important to us on this, obviously. And uh, we continuously uh, update the trainings that are on the uh, Comscope Infrastructure Academy. Uh, we also want to make sure people get easy access to it as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, obviously uh, uh, regular access, uh, online access to mm -hmm. it, but we also have mobile apps mm -hmm. that people that's can right. use and that can actually uh, uh, train themselves on the fly. So I think, I think that's a very, very important and powerful tool that we have in order to maintain that quality that I referenced a couple of times already. Mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely cru crucial for us. Yeah, and what we'll do is after this video, we will post uh, under it the uh, links to the Comscope Infrastructure Academy and also the new mobile app that is now available that we introduced a couple of months ago. Um, so, you know, if you have any other additional questions on the Partner Pro Network, we are posting links on the bottom in our comments section. So we'll post there. If you have any other questions, we're going to be wrapping up shortly. Um, so if you have any other questions, you can post them there and then I will share them with Bakun later on today. So um, if there are any other questions, that would be great. Post them there. Uh, we'd like to thank you for participating in this week's uh, Partner, uh, Partner Pro Network Facebook Live event. Kuhn, thank you very much. I really appreciate, you, it. appreciate it. So if you have any other questions, please post them there, and we will answer them as soon as we get them. Pass them on, and then we'll um, get back to you as soon as you can. So thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week. Thank you.